Iblis is a creation of God, Iblis is a jinn, Iblis is, you know, he's made of fire. But where did Iblis come from? And were there the likes of Iblis before? So the Mufassun have come to, and again, this is based on Israeli riwayat. And what Allah Azza did is that he created a whole creation of jinns. They had got taklif. Taklif is that God's now given them a responsibility to recognize him. So what Allah did is that he sent jinn messengers. But the messengers in the many numbers were killed by the jinns on the earth. And there was great corruption that, was, that prevailed on the earth. Now there was one notable jinn that was very pious. And again, all of this is in the Israeli riwayat. You can't verify it and say it's absolutely authentic. You can't deny it and say it's totally false. Iblis being who he was, he was a good jinn. And he started to worship God, worship God to the extent that there was no space in the heavens was left. But Iblis had gone there and he had worshipped God. Until then, Allah Azawajal allowed him to come in the company of the angels. Allah decided that he's going to send the angels down to the earth and to banish the jinns that had caused a lot of corruption on the earth. Iblis volunteered that if he can come with the angels to kill these, these corrupted jinns on the earth. And Allah Azawajal gave him permission. So he came and they killed a lot of these jinns. They left only a few on the earth. And from these few again, the progeny of the jinns would start. Now Iblis returns back. Suddenly Allah reveals to the angels and he says, When your Lord, your provider, when your sustainer said to the angels, I am about to make on the earth a vicegerent or someone who will take command, second in charge, or someone who will rule again, reign after the last reigning. I'm about to make a Khalifa on the earth. Now, when Allah said that, Iblis got really happy. So Allah is going to now make a Khalifa perhaps from the jinns. But Allah's decision wasn't that he's going to make a Khalifa or a vicegerent from the jinns. His decision now was that he's going to create this new creation. Now this shocked Iblis. And the story goes that he had already announced to the angels. He said, I'm going to create a man from dirt. And the angels, they were scared and they said, Ya Rabb, you know, are you going to create these human beings? We are glorifying you. We're praising you. And in other words, the angels were asking, are you not happy with our worship, Ya Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you're not going to understand. I know what you don't know. I'll show you. I'll explain to you. And Iblis is thinking, you know, I should be getting this position, not Adam. And this guy is created from dirt. So he creates Adam alayhi salam. And before he blows the soul into Adam alayhi salam, he forms Adam alayhi salam. And he left his body there. And now Iblis comes up to the body of Adam alayhi salam. And he finds that this body is dark and is made of clay. And Iblis starts hitting the body and it starts making sound. Now he's not yet alive. Iblis finds out that he can flow into the body of Adam alayhi salam. Because Adam alayhi salam is created from earth. And earth is a very dense creation. And Iblis is created from smokeless fire. And so he's like energy. And he can flow in and out of the body of Adam alayhi salam. And when he flows into Adam alayhi salam, he finds out that Adam alayhi salam is made hollow. He's empty inside. And as he's going around Adam alayhi salam, looking at him, his heart starts to develop a feeling. And it's the feeling of jealousy. And as time passes, the body of Adam alayhi salam is drying and, and, and coming into his form. And this jealousy starts to grow in the heart of Iblis. Until it completely takes over his heart. Now Iblis, he doesn't fight against it. He lets it go. And this hasad starts to burn and grow and grow until it completely takes over Iblis. We blew into Adam from our soul, from the ruh. And Adam alayhi salam came to life. And Allah said to the angels, bow down to Adam alayhi salam. 
all of the angels, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, bow down, they all immediately, right away, they bow down to Adam alayhi salam. In Iblis, he doesn't bow down. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, oh Iblis, why don't you bow down when I commanded you to bow down? Iblis says, I'm better than him. You created me from fire, you created him from dirt, I am better than him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Oh Iblis, are you sure about this? Iblis says, yes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, get down from here, you are indeed cursed, and you have my curse upon you until the end of time. Now Iblis has a chance, still. He can still plead with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, Ya Allah, give me one dua, just one dua. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, ask. He says, I want you to give me time and let me live until the end of time too. And I want you to give me power over Adam. And I want you to give me soldiers and minions and all of these things. And I want you to be able to give me the ability to whisper into the hearts of mankind and all of these things. And he makes a massive dua. It's not a small dua. He says, give me kingdom until when? The end of time. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, you have time. Now Iblis, after his dua is answered, he turns to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He says, I swear by your honor. He says, because you misguided me, I'm going to turn all of them away from your deen. Except your servants who are sincere. And now look at this guy. He declares war on human beings. I'm going to come from everywhere. I'm going to deceive them. I'm going to work on them. I'm going to do everything that I can do to take them away from the righteous path. To prove to you they're not better than me. Allah Azza wa said, Whoever shall follow you, I will fill up the whole fire of you and, the, and your followers. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warned Adam alayhi salam from Iblis. And then Adam alayhi salam was in the heavens. And Allah gave him the great knowledge of everything. Allah taught Adam the names of everything. Allah Azza wa Jal gave Adam alayhi salam the paradise to live in and Adam will live in the paradise. Now after a certain time, Adam started to get bored and lonely. So one day Adam alayhi salam, he slept in the paradise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala took a bone from his left rib cage and Allah azza wa jal created from that bent bone Allah azza wa jal created Hawa a female human being so after Adam alayhi salam woke up he saw a human being but different to his character different to his looking Adam alayhi salam he asked her what were you created for? She said, so I could live with you. To live with you in calm and peace. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he told Adam, Oh Adam, you and your wife live in the paradise. Eat from anywhere in this paradise. It's all yours. But then you need this certain tree. If you do, then you and your wife are from the oppressors. Shaitan was kicked out of the paradise. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allowed him because of the challenge that he put. He hates this human being. And he wants to prove that he is better than this human being. And he will do anything to deceive him. Shaitan will come to Adam. Oh Adam, why don't you eat from this tree? Adam will refuse, A'udhu Billah. My Lord had ordered me not to go near it. Go away. And again and again, Iblis will try and attempt again and again and try and deceive Adam to eat from that tree. And Adam refused, A'udhu Billah, no way I'll eat from this tree. Allah had ordered me not to go near it. So Iblis realized that it's very hard to deceive Adam. So what did he do? He went to Hawa. And he started to tell Hawa, eat from it. So maybe Hawa Adri said, No, no, why? A'udhu Billah, Allah Azza wa Jal told us not to eat from it. But later on, once, twice, three times, and then Shaitan said, 
The only reason that Allah Azza wa Jal doesn't want you to eat from this tree is because if you eat from this tree, then you become from the close, close ones to Allah Azza wa Jal and you'll live here forever. So he deceived them. He even <laughs> promised. He made a promise that I'm only a good, peaceful advisor. So Hawa started to put pressure on Adam. Let's eat from this tree. And if we eat from this tree, we might end up being angels. And putting the pressure on Adam, speaking to Adam, until Adam alayhi salam accepted to eat from that tree. He thought if he eats that tree, he'll please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Adam alayhi salam ate from that tree. 